What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a couple days ago we got a pretty big update for Black Ops 4 multiplayer, and with this we saw some weapon balancing, as well as a bunch of other things like contracts and Hacienda Twilight. But in today's video, we're just going to be focusing on the weapon balancing changes and going into great detail with those. And first up, this is quite a big change that's definitely going to affect the meta in the game. All SMGs, as well as pistols, are now hitscan, whereas before this update, they would actually fire projectiles. But those projectiles were much, much faster than they were in Blackout, and therefore, a lot of people didn't even know that they were hitscan. So overall, this will definitely have an effect, especially at mid to somewhat longer ranges with SMGs against people that are moving or strafing. Now you don't have to compensate for that bullet travel at all. You just aim dead onto your target and you should be hitting them much more consistently. So this should give the impression of better hit detection, at least while using SMGs. But like I said, this is mainly just going to apply to longer ranges. In those really close range fights, you're probably not going to notice a difference here. Also, another thing you're probably going to notice with this update is there will no longer be kill trades with regular guns. You'll still get kill trades with like specialist weapons, for instance, but with regular guns, there won't be kill trades anymore. Before this update, you would see the odd kill trade with SMGs, especially while using suppressor, but those are going to be completely eliminated now because they are hit scan. Now this has also forced something else to change in the game, and this is the Long Barrel 2 attachment, which is only currently available on the GKS as well as the Mozu. So before this patch, Long Barrel 2 didn't actually increase your ranges at all compared to Long Barrel 1, but instead what it would do is it would speed up the projectile a little bit, which would mean you had to lead your target a little bit less at extremely long ranges. But if you guys remember from a video I did where I tested that, this was only noticeable beyond like 50 or 60 meters, which in this game, it's kind of difficult to find a line of sight longer than 50 to 60 meters. And even then, using a GKS or a Mozu, it's generally not a good idea to try that. And therefore, Long Barrel 2 was kind of useless before this update. After this update, obviously something had to change there, otherwise Long Barrel 2 would be literally useless. So now Long Barrel 2 will further increase your ranges on the GKS as well as the Mozu. Now let's start it off with the GKS. As you can see here, Long Barrel has no effect whatsoever on your 5-shot kill range, and that is exactly how it was before the update as well, but it would increase your 6- and 7-shot kill ranges by 50%, which was quite a solid increase. Now with Long Barrel 2, we get a further increase to our 6- and 7-shot kill ranges up to 80%, which just means all of the gunfights you'll find yourself in are going to be at most 6 shots to kill. You're not going to be able to find a line of sight long enough to hit that 8-shot kill range anymore. Additionally, something you might have noticed is the 5-shot kill range is still unchanged with Long Barrel 2, and this actually goes directly against what Tony Flame had said on Twitter. He said that Long Barrel 2 will now increase your 5-shot kill range. Based on my testing, there was no increase whatsoever to the 5-shot kill range. So I think there was a little bit of communication error or a bug or something here. Long Barrel 2 currently is not affecting your 5-shot kill range on the GKS. As for the Mozu, the standard Long Barrel will give you a 60% increase to your base range, which is really solid, and that works for all of your damage ranges as well. And after this update, Long Barrel 2 will now increase all of your ranges by 80%, so it's a little bit better than Long Barrel 1, but I feel like it's completely overkill. Even just one long barrel on the Mozu is great, and you really don't need long barrel 2 on this, in my opinion. So that's the first big weapon balancing change with this update, and that one is definitely going to have a big impact on the SMGs. Next, we got a slight nerf to the Mog 12 Dragon's Breath Operator mod. Keep in mind, this only applies to the Operator mod, so if you're just using long barrel and choke, it's going to behave just as it did before this update. But now, if you're using the Operator mod, you have to hit pretty much all of your pellets if you're in a little bit of a longer range with that, in order to get a kill. Pre-patch, you had to hit about half of your pellets to get a kill on an enemy that wasn't using flak jackets. Post-patch, like I said, you have to hit basically all of your pellets. It is not very forgiving at all to be using Dragon's Breath anymore. After that, we saw a little bit of a nerf to the Switchblade in the range department. Its 5-shot kill range was completely unaffected, so up close, the Switchblade is just as good as it was before the update, which is amazing, by the way. But now it's 6, 7, and 8 shot kill ranges have been reduced by a noticeable margin. So you're going to have a bit of a harder time in those mid-range situations using this gun. But I will say this is still much better than it was before it got its latest buff in its ranges. Because before that, it didn't even have a 5 shot kill range. So it seems like they've kind of found a middle ground there with the Switchblade. And I feel like this change was very reasonable. And finally, this just leaves us with one last nerf, and this was to the Damon 3XB. With this one, they just eliminated its 5-shot kill range, so now it's going to take 6 shots to kill even at point-blank ranges, and that means it deals 28 damage up close rather than 32. 
This has no impact whatsoever on its one-shot kill potential in hardcore modes. And realistically, you can still get those two burst kills no problem with the daemon as long as you're hitting all of your shots up close, which is fairly easy to do. But it is a bit less forgiving, so if you manage to miss one of those bullets in those two bursts, it's going to take you that third burst, which will slow your time to kill down a little bit. Additionally, they did add a third magazine to the daemon, so I think before it only had two extra magazines, now it has three, so it's a little bit of a buff in that department. But overall, once again, I think this was a fairly reasonable change to the daemon. It was definitely too good before this update, and I still think it is a top tier SMG. It's just slightly less forgiving in its current state. It's still going to dominate at those mid ranges. It's still going to be very, very solid up close. You just have to be a bit more precise with your shots. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for all of the weapon balancing changes that came with this update. I do plan to cover a few more of the changes in future videos in the next few days, but I did just get back to Canada from Norway and we're still kind of getting settled in, so I had to make today's video a little bit on the shorter side, so that's why I decided to only cover the weapon balancing today. Of course, as always, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about these changes? Do you think they were good changes overall? Maybe a little bit overkill or unnecessary? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.